Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we will consider how to compute the four point DFT of the given sequence x of n, wherein the sequence x of n is equal to 1, 2, 1, 0. This is the given sequence, and the task is to find the DFT of that sequence. Here, we can make use of the matrix relation. Uh, which is the trick to find the four point DFT in uh, a very easy way. So, for that, uh, we'll just start with the procedure. So, we know that the given sequence is of length 4. x of n is equal to 1, 2, 1, 0. Hence, I can write n, capital N, is equal to 4. That means it is, it's the length of sequence 4. So the matrix, how do I write the matrix? So let me let me uh, write that. So x of n is the given sequence and uh, what will be its DFT? This will be x of k. So I have to write the matrix in terms of x of k. So first x of k will also be going to be the sequence of length 4. So I have got 4 samples now. So let me let me write for uh, x of k. So first I have to start with x of 0. Then I will write x of 1. So x of 2. So these are capital X. That means these are the DFTs, the DFT samples. Then I have x of 3. So this thing I'll just put it in a matrix form. Let me do that. So this thing, uh, let me put these things in a matrix form. Yes, now it's ready. So this equal to what? So this is equal to, so I'll write that in a uh, twiddle factor. So I already uh, we already explained how to write the matrix relation, how to arrive at the matrix relation uh, in one of the videos. So that is the theoretical part. So if not watched, I kindly request you to go back and watch that video. How to find the DFT of the sequence using matrix relation. So using that, I would write the matrix form. So here it is, uh, Wn to the power 0. Uh, in case of, in this case, n is 4. So I would write w4 to the power 0. So next I have w4 to the power 0 again. So I will have w4 to the power 0 and w4 to the power 0. So why 4 terms? Because it is 4 cross 4 matrix as n is 4. Next, uh, next row is w4 to the power 0 so here I would get w4 to the power 1 then I have w4 to the power 2 then I have w4 to the power 3 I, I would consider in the similar way and write the third row w4 to the power 0 w4 to the power 2 here w4 to the power 4 and w4 to the power 6 and lastly the last row w4 to the power 0 w4 to the power so here it becomes 3 and w4 to the power 6 and lastly I have w4 to the power 9 the same thing uh, let me just uh, put that in uh, matrix form again yes and this gets multiplied with the given sequence x of n so what is that x of n so those things will take the form as x of 0 x of 1, x of 2 and lastly I have x of 3. So this is also there uh, in terms of the matrix. So let me draw the matrix for that. Yes. 
yes this is the given matrix so the given thing x of n can be found using this matrix so next thing is i have i need to find what are these w factors so wn we already know it it is a twiddle factor we know it it is a twiddle factor or it is also called as the phase factor both mean the same so i need to find these values w4 to the power 0 we already know that anything to the power 0 is always 1 so this complete row and the first column can be written as ones then what is w4 to the power 1 w4 to the power 2 w4 to the power 3 and also i have w4 to the power 2 4 6 here i have 3 6 9 so how do i find these values i need not have to find the values for each and everything so using exploiting the property of periodicity i can replace them and i could write it again i can rewrite the equation in terms of uh, 0 1 2 3 because uh, as this sequence is of length 4 0 1 2 3 everything else that is greater than 3 here 4 uh, 6 9 of uh, uh, these values 4 again can be written can be rewritten in terms of 0 1 2 3 that is using uh, exploiting the property of periodicity so what that periodicity says W n to the power a is equal to W n to the power a plus n. So making use of that property, I can reduce, I can reduce the matrix. So what do I get? So let me reduce that. Uh, w four to the power zero. I'll just write it as W four to the power zero only. First row remains the same. as it doesn't have any term greater than 3 w4 to the power 0 second row w4 to the power 0 w4 to the power 0 uh, sorry this is 1 w4 to the power 2 w4 to the power 3 here also i do not have any problem so i'll write it as it is third row w4 to the power 0 w4 to the power 2 here i have w4 to the power 4 so that needs to be rewritten how do i rewrite for that i can use this concept uh, periodicity 0 1 2 3 so whatever i have after this i'll just write it below this this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 then i have 8 9 10 11 and so on so these things can be rewritten in terms of the original uh, sequence so now if i have w4 to the power 4 4 can be rewritten as 0 so that means i can write this as w4 to the power 0 then i have w4 to the power 6 here w4 to the power 6 so what is equivalent of 6 is 2 hope you are understanding so how i am writing this making use of the periodicity property and uh, going to the last uh, row that is uh, w4 to the power 0 here i have w4 to the power 3 so what is 3 uh, it is there it is there in the limit so it remains as it is so then i have w4 to the power 6 so 6 is equal to 2 so here it is 6 is equal to 2 using periodicity property and lastly i have w4 to the power 9 so in place of 9 this can be written as uh, rewritten as 5 and 5 can be rewritten as 1 hence w4 to the power 1 uh, this is what uh, i get it i'll just uh, put it in a matrix form this also so this takes the matrix form here yes that's it so now things become very easier and i can uh, solve it very easily so what i do now is i'll uh, just have to rearrange this matrix so what do i get now i'll just put all the values w4 to the power 0 we know that anything to the power 0 is always 1 so hence the first row all values will become 1 getting it and check at the first column in the first column again it is w4 to the power 0 so those values will become 1 again 
So then I need to think W4 to the power 1. What is W4 to the power 1? So how do I find that? Uh, I'll just write it here. Wn is equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi by n. n is 4. So and uh, I'm finding W4 to the power 1. I'll just multiply this one. So it becomes... Uh, 2 by 4 it becomes 1 by 2 ultimately it is e to the power minus j pi by 2 and that value is going to be minus j so that uh, you need to remember every time we need not have to solve it so remember w4 to the power 1 is minus j then I need to find w4 to the power 2 so how do I find uh, w4 to the power 2 so it is e to the power minus j 2 pi by 4 I have to multiply this with 2 so for 2 are 4 and 4 it, those become will cancel I will get e to the power minus j pi what is e to the power minus j pi so it is cos pi minus j sin pi cos pi is always minus 1 so I would get minus 1 and uh, lastly I have uh, w4 to the power 3 so if I uh, continue that also in the same way I would get that as j so ultimately what I need to remember is w4 to the power 1 is minus j w4 to the power 2 it is minus 1 and lastly w4 to the power 3 it is j so this thing I need to remember so these are important stuff so I need to remember only these three values then things become very easier so what I do next, I'll just go to the next row, the W4 to the power 2. W4 to the power 2 is minus 1. So I'll write it, I can write it straight away. Then I have W4 to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is always 1. I need not have to calculate. Then I have W4 to the power 2. W4 to the power 2 is minus 1. So that I'll write it. And last row, W4 to the power 0. W4 to the power 3. W4 to the power 3 is J. And W4 to the power 2 is minus 1. And lastly, I have W4 to the power 1, which is minus J. So what I need to do is just put this again in the matrix form. Yes, it is done. So this thing is getting multiplied with X of zeros. So what is a, uh, x of n? What is x of n? So if you go up x of n here we have uh, it is 1, 2, 1, 0. In place of here I'll write 1, 2, 1, 0. So I'll write here 1, 2, 1, 0. So this is the given sequence. So again this is also there in the matrix form. So let me write that. Let me draw that matrix. And uh, finally what I have to do? I have to multiply these two matrices and get the answer for x of k which is quite simple. Yes, now this task is also done. So how do I multiply them? It's very easy. So I need to consider first row and the column. So every term get multiplied with those columns. So it is 1 into 1 I would get 1 in the first column plus this 1 into 2 it becomes 2 plus 1 into 1 it becomes 1 and lastly I have 1 into 0 it becomes 0 and uh, here I have uh, I'll just move on to the second row this is 1 into the first one that is 1 into 1 I would get 1 plus minus j into 2 so that it is minus 2j so I would get minus 2j next I have minus 1 into 1 I would get minus 1 and last term j into 0 it is 0 so third row I'll move on that is 1 into 1 I would get 1 then I have minus 1 into 2 it is minus 2 then I have 1 into 2 it is uh, no, it is 1 into 1, 
I would get 1 and lastly minus 1 into 0 that is 0 and uh, last row 1 into 1 it is 1 j into 2 it is 2j then I have minus 1 into 1 I would get minus 1 and lastly minus j into 0 0 so this is what the reduced matrix is so I'll just put this in the matrix form and this is the answer for the matrix x of k this is there in the reduced form so how does this get reduced to so just add them subtract them whatever I have this is 1 plus 2 plus 1 I will get uh, 4 and uh, then I have uh, 1 uh, 1 and minus 1 would cancel and minus 2 is left out minus 2j is left out and third row uh, this is 1 plus 1 2 minus 2 would cancel I would get 0 and lastly I have 1 minus 1 will cancel each other and I'm left with 2j so this is what the ultimate answer for uh, x of k is so I got x of k in this form so I, again I can just put it in the matrix form and I can write this as the answer so this is the answer for the se se given sequence x of k so ultimately what I do is I'll just write x of k is equal to 4 comma minus 2j comma 0 comma 2j so this is the answer for x of k so here I have considered an example uh, how to solve how to find 4 point DFT using the matrix relation so everything has been explained step by step with utmost care so I haven't left anything assumed so I have explained everything hope this was uh, very clear to you so once you understand this you can solve any number of numerical using this method uh, in no time thanks for watching